Cabot traffic, star 97, northwest corner Diamond Valley Lake Maintenance, south transition, 2100. Today we visit an airport with personal significance, Hemet Ryan Airport. So quick backstory. Before we even bought our plane Hanna, we would walk around Corona Airport like some creepers. Honestly, I just loved being around planes so much. And one day I made it a point to walk around and try to meet a pilot with their own plane, which for introverts like us is a monumental task. That pilot was our friend Chuck. And we spoke that day for hours and a week later after a pilot's association meeting, he graciously invited my wife and I to go to Hammett Airport for lunch in his Cardinal. I couldn't believe he was so open to taking us up. He barely knew us and he even let me fly a little. He unfortunately passed earlier this year from health issues. So this episode is dedicated to him. So there are two runways, 0523 at 4,315 by 100 feet and 0422 at 2,014 feet by 25 feet. Now, every time we've come, we've always landed on 2-3, unless for some reason the winds favor 0-5. Most of the traffic on 0-4-2-2 that we've seen has been for gliders. Hemet Airport is home to CAL FIRE Air Attack, and man, have they been busy. During the time of this recording, they were battling both the airport fire, which burned 23,000 acres, and the line fire, burning nearly 40,000 acres. And with the third fire being the bridge fire burning 54,000 acres, Cal Fire was stretched to its limits. They've been amazing and we can't thank them enough. Especially since a few years ago we had our own evacuation. Hemet Airport is untowered, so keeping your eyes outside is very important because not only is there CAL FIRE and sheriffs, there's also Glider Training School, which gets really busy on top of the regular GA traffic. So make sure to listen and report your position. Speaking of gliders, the reason they train out of here is because it is definitely a hot and dry area and thermals are plentiful, which to my best understanding is a mechanism gliders use for lift, but I'm far from an expert on that. There is a fuel ramp to the right and though we didn't get any fuel because it was only 15 minute flight for us, it was a couple of cents cheaper than our home airport at Corona. Now, to be honest, there isn't much around the airport and there is no transportation available unless you call for rideshare. But as I said, our first time here was for Hangar One Cafe and this time was no different, except that we wanted to make sure we parked in the correct area. But we would come to find out first, it was a little confusing. Second, we are blind. And third, Chuck did not park in the right area when we first came. But sometimes these untowered airports are the wild west. If there is an open area, it's parking. But don't worry, we'll show you the right area, but not before we show you how confused we were.
Not that I want to out Chuck or anything, but on our first visit here, he parked right next to those lights ahead. I'm a little suspicious that's not even parking. We definitely would have given him a hard time about it today. We completely missed the transient signs, but in our defense, with the bars behind the signs, they almost blend into the background. We only found them after we started walking around. There are about three transient parking spots and they all have tie down chains. But just be aware that it is right next to the vehicle slide gate, so keep an eye out for that vehicular traffic. So in summary, Cal Fire and Sheriff ramps are restricted, so don't go that way. Glider Training School is very active. There is limited transient parking with only three spots. And the cafe is near transient parking. So I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for all the questions and support lately. You guys have no idea what it means. It really keeps us motivated to keep this series going. Now, I don't know if Chuck would have liked us talking about him as he was always joking about having a monument of him somewhere, or if he would have been mad we outed him and he was also a very private person. But either way, he was our first friend hangered at Corona Airport, we'll miss him a lot, and now he'll live in YouTube lore. Blue skies and tailwinds, Chuck. And as for you still on this rock, remember to keep making those memories. So go fly, go discover. <laughs>